So here we are at the Territory at Mana Motel and Caravan Park in Mataranka. We came through from Daily Waters this morning. The drive was only about an hour and a half uh, max to two hours, I think it was. And we didn't stop, we just drove the whole way through. So we got here pretty early, uh, just before lunchtime. And we picked this lovely big site, which is probably usually an on-street site. But because it's so quiet, um, they just said we could take the pick of the powered site. So it's really quiet still. Yes, hey kiddo. He's running circles around me, aren't you mate? So we're here for three nights. It's 30 bucks a night. Um, it's very quiet. There's only maybe three other vans here. Um, maybe a few more now that it's getting on to evening. We would have liked to stay at the Bitter Springs Homestead, but that has closed for the wet season from the start of November. And it is currently, I say, early to mid November. Yeah, I can't remember what the date is. Um, yes, so here for three nights. We're going to check out Bitter Springs tomorrow, which we haven't been to yet, so we're really keen to explore that and just relax for a few days before we prep to cross the border into WA. So we did our G2G passes today, both a bit approved, which is a bit of a relief to be honest, especially with the recent lockdowns in Darwin and Catherine. So it's very hot, it's another massive build up on the horizon again. I can actually look up on that. Yeah, I just heard some thunder. Liam, would you like a go with the GoPro? Yeah. Can you please wait until mum's finished? Yeah. That's, that's a no. <laughs> you want to come out and have a look? Pat, pat. No, we don't pat the wildlife, mate. I don't know if they can be classified as wildlife. Are you coming for a drink? Oh, Lindy. It is, Lindy, yeah. It's all right, you're with Mama. You film the peacock. Good job. Very smooth. I love the sizzle of the sausage on the barbecue. This uh, storm is definitely coming. I reckon give it maybe 20 minutes and this will be very wet out here. I'm just trying to get the, uh, the dinner sorted before then, but we've done a bit of a pack up. Um, we don't want to risk the awning, it's already got a little tear that I haven't fixed yet. We're waiting till we get it to a major town and I'll order um, the repair tape uh, to get shipped to where we're going to stay in Karatha um, and fix it there. So we're just packing it away, pack the chairs away. I don't care about the tables and stuff, they can stay out um, and the barbecue can stay out. But yeah, just pack most stuff away every evening. Um, just want to risk it. So yeah, these look good. Caramelized onion beef sausages from Woolworths. Nothing fancy, uh, but good with a salad. Ooh, looks like we might company. actually get a nice Quiet. N2 sunset. Oh, are they back? They are too. Huh. Oh, look, they're all fine. Oh, look, they're everywhere. Oh, there is bats everywhere. You can hear them. Must be bat time. Oh, how's the colours? <laughs> Ever since we rolled into the NT, there's been like big thick storms right at sunset, so we've not actually had a proper sunset. The sun disappears for like an hour before it goes down. <laughs> but this yeah. is nice. This is lovely. It's balmy. The bats are swarming. Yeah, there's heaps of them. You can just see them all flying through there. They're flying up really high. Yeah, they are. Hey. Oh my god, they're everywhere. Don't open your mouth. <laughs> What's bat poop called? Gua guano? Guano? Guano. Reach, kiddo, reach. You are trying very And there much. goes the peacock. Pretty keen for this place. We missed it on our way past last time. We did Mataranka instead, but it was just peak tourist season, so there were people everywhere. So we chose not to come do this and come back later. So here we are. <laughs> it's only 8.30 in the morning and there's only two other cars in the car park. I'm the car park, so pretty stoked about that. Good, one, kiddo. Good boy, are you coming please? We left the dogs in the air-conditioned van, lucky things. <laughs> it's so hot and steamy today. Uh, we had a little bit of rain last night, but nothing too um, significant. Please, come on. Come on, mate. We're going to go for a swim. Mum. Yeah, with mum. 
So it's very steamy on the ground today. And Mark and I both went for a run this morning and I think we lost about five minutes. Yeah, I'm not sure if it counted ever, right? I'm not sure if it counted because it's just too hot. It was a, it was a waddle. <laughs> Mark says it was a waddle. <laughs> oh, I'm really keen for this. Yeah, water, look how clear it is. The summer months are coming. I don't know how to take it. The memory of a lover. Picture frames and bracelets, and they say, Keep your head up, boy. Cause May is like Miranda. I could not understand her. Her voice is like a riddle. It leads me to the water And I drown When she kissed my lips Cause every time I think I'm getting over It cycles back around time I think I'm getting over it cycles back around we can't win last time it was too busy that we didn't really enjoy it now it's so quiet kind of creeps you out a little bit <laughs> it's just like waiting for a little fresh water cross to pop up next year or something yeah um, and Liam wasn't happy sitting in his little flotation device um, he can't Stop wiggling, so it made it really tricky for us to float. So Clem and Liam jumped out early, and okay. I finished the finished the uh, the drift. Um, but Clem's not sure if you're going to go back in yet, are you? No, I think we'll just maybe go for a bit of a quick paddle. A little splash near the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I take some pictures while it's nice and quiet. Can get some good shots. Yeah. Um, and then get back to the dogs. Clem's working today. Starting a little bit earlier now that we're in the NT. We've rolled the clock back half an hour. And then next week we'll be working in WA, so back an hour and a half. June it always is me, it makes me think of Lizzie. I sneak around this small town, and I wonder if you miss me. I can still hear you say, let's take the long way home. It's hot. <laughs> Even the air comes struggling. So what are we doing? Ice cream! I'm gonna go get a treat. I think they sell them here at the little shop and then I think we'll go to the pool and at least put our feet in. We have been swimming today. Mm, we just gave the dogs a really early dinner. It's like what? 2.30? Yeah, 2.30. Yeah, 2.30. Before the thunder comes in because Kiri has been refusing to eat as soon as the thunder starts. Yeah, she went like 36 hours without eating. Because she didn't feel well one morning and then missed two dinners. Um, so yeah, we got to her early today, so she's had breakfast and lunch. Mm. Well, this grass section looks nice. That's beautiful. It's all unpowered, eh, by the looks of it? Yeah, all well, unpowered. Not sure if there's a waterfall, but there's plenty of sprinkles. Yeah, it might be different water though, reclaimed water versus potable. Yeah. Yeah, there's a nice river here. They do barra feeding here, apparently, too. Um, yeah. So we're going to look into that to something maybe me and Liam can do tomorrow while I'm work. So tomorrow afternoon once Clem knocks off. Yeah, we'll ask now I think. See if they can tell us some stuff. The cobweb. I wonder if this is where they do the barrow feeding. Let's see if we can see one. All I'm seeing is little fish about this big. I'm not seeing anything bigger move in there yet. Okay. Can you see anything, kiddo? For me. No.
think of Morgan. She dated all my best friends, my high school crush. I never told her. Not bet she's married now. Cause every time I think I'm getting over her, it cycles back around. So this morning we have driven from Mataranka in the Northern Territory through Catherine and we're now on the Victoria Highway heading to Timber Creek tonight. So tomorrow we're crossing into the Western Australia borders and that is fingers crossed that we can get over the border okay. We have done our G2G pass and we've come back with a green good to go. So we'll see how that all pans out tomorrow morning when we uh, cross over the border. So in this episode we are traveling from uh, Timber Creek, Northern Territory, across the border to Derby in Western Australia. So we're not going to be doing any of the Gibb uh, River or much of the Kimberley. We're saving that probably till maybe next winter or the year after. Um, so this episode we're just covering a bit of uh, road on the Victorian Highway and um, yeah enjoying the Western Australian Outback as we make our way over to Derby to see our good friends Ellie and Joe. Ah, so it's a beautiful morning here. It's not too hot yet, which is nice, but we are expecting about 40 degrees in Timber Creek this afternoon. Thankfully, there's a pool where we'll be staying, so we'll be able to cool off and also power so we can put the aircon on. Come. Hey, mate, you're going to say hello to everybody? Come. Say hi. Come, come. Okay, here you go. Okay. Ah, ah. good job. So we've been traveling with our new chairs on our bed at the moment. So these are the June Fall drive chairs and they're quite large. And we did have them leaning up against the wall down on Mark's side of the bed, just here. Uh, but they've left marks along the edge of the wall, which can rub out. But instead of causing further damage, we decided that the best spot for them to travel is on the bed. And then we can get them out really easily at the end of the day as well. Um, so it's, it's definitely the easiest way to store them. They definitely don't fit in the tunnel boot and they're not going to fit under the bed. So <laughs> yeah, this is the best option at the moment. They, they, they are big and bulky. Um, we used to have the chairs that fold up in the bags when in the tunnel boot. Um, but after a year of travel, we wanted an upgrade. Um, and I sat in pretty well every chair imaginable through BCF, Anaconda, stuff like that. Um, and I really love these ones. And uh, you can sit at a table with them, those Lifeline clap fungible tables that you get from the Bunnings and BCF Anaconda and the likes, you can actually sit at them in these chairs. It sits over your knees. It's like the perfect height. So yeah, we are loving these chairs. They're big, they're bulky, but when you've got a caravan um, that you can store them in, it, yeah, we can justify it. But for general weekend sort of camping trips, they're probably a bit big for normal use. But we are loving them. We've had them for a good, well, about a month now, hey, babe? Yeah. And yeah, I do really love them. Every time I think I'm getting over, it cycles back around. Ooh. I'm not done looking for love. I'm not done looking for love. I'm not done looking for you, love. arrived at Timber Creek. Uh, we are staying at the WIRIB Tourist Park. Uh, great park, very secure. Um, they've got a shop here as well and we're right on the, we're backing right up onto the creek and there's fresh water crocs in here. So keen to go and have a little look around later. Now, when we got here, this is a bit unusual for us. So for once we're high at the front of the van, usually we're high at the back and we have to um, raise the front. But this time we are high at the front, so we had to raise the back on the ramp. So what we've done is we've put a leveling ramp on either side of the back wheels of the van and then gone back up onto uh, the ramps just to raise the end a bit. And now Mark's just cranking the back legs. We've got to stay hitched up. So Mark's cranking the back legs to help raise it a little bit more. Yeah, so I don't, 
I'm not using the legs to lift the back of the van. It's just going to take a bit more weight off yeah. the suspension. Um, and I won't do the front ones as tight. And then we'll just give us that fine little adjustment because we're almost level. But <laughs> we're not quite. Tight. We couldn't come up high enough on the ramp. So I'll show you what I've done. I've got one ramp on this side here. And then just one ramp on um, the back wheel on this side. There we go. That was Mark's idea. I didn't even think of that until he said, and I was like, oh, duh. Um, so thankfully we're level um, left to right <laughs> already. Otherwise that would have been an absolute pain in the ass. <laughs> yeah, we would have had to be really inventive. Yeah. All right, within 10 minutes of being here, we're hooked up to water and power. Put the table and chairs out. That's uh, the mat, Liam's chair and that table all live in the tunnel boots, so does this one. Um, on this side so they easily grab out. So just dum dum dum, pull out the mat, flick it out, <coughs> put the table out, grab the chairs off the bed and we're set up for an overnight stay. Pull out the awning and enjoy listening to all the bats. We're going to head down there shortly and go see if we can see some of these freshwater crocs that Chef keeps saying are in there. Clem and Liam have a quick look but I haven't seen anything yet but I reckon we'll see some. We'll go down there tonight hopefully with the uh, torch and see if we can see their eyes. Yeah. You guys want to go for a wee walk? You've been stuck in the car for a couple of hours today. You've done well though, haven't you? It was comfy in the car. Yeah? Aircon. All that space all to yourself. Hey? Eh? On your beds. Pretty spoiled, I reckon, Costa Boy. You've only been out of it, out of there five minutes and you're struggling with the heat already. Poor puppers. Hey? Eh? Yeah, That's right. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Man. So there's our van just there. This is a little river. And they said there's only freshies in here, right? She said crocodiles. I'm assuming freshies. Maybe we'll just take a couple of meter, meters away from this edge. I would say freshies given where we are. So we've been holding off grocery shopping for a few days now um, because we knew we would have to get rid of a lot of it when we rolled into WA uh, anyway. So we're running pretty low. We've got baked beans. Uh, this little store here had some eggs. We usually try and go cage free three range for the eggs, but don't do what you got to do sometimes. Um, it was either this or frozen pies, but we had frozen pies just the other day, so we're going to save them. Um, and just have baked beans and eggs on toast for dinner tonight. <laughs> nice and easy breakfast for dinner. So I've got a, um, a bakery here in Timber Creek. And the bread actually looks and sort of smells amazing. So I'll whip up some uh, some toast to go with our baked beans and eggs uh, and just have a nice easy meal. We'll put a movie on for Liam, I think. Try and keep him up a little bit, try and help the transition into WA time tomorrow because uh, he wakes up ridiculously early. It was four o'clock this morning uh, and in WA time that work at 2.30 in the morning. So I want to try and transition him just a little bit. Yeah, it's been fun. We did the MT in a week from when we crossed the camo wheel. Uh, spent a few days at Daily Water, spent a few days at Bitter Springs, but we've done everything in between. So we fast tracked it. It's just a, a means to get back to WA. All the borders are sort of open between Queensland, NT and WA at the moment. So we are fast tracked it before that changes. Catherine did go into a little bit of a lockdown last week for three days, um, but it didn't seem to eventuate, which is good for us, but we didn't stop there anywhere. All we did was um, stopped on the outskirts of town and got fuel. Uh, and it wasn't even one of the fuel stations where you go see an attendant. Um, it was one of the ones we drive with you sort it out on a machine yourself. So hopefully that's not an issue when we roll through the border tomorrow. Um, but we are excited to get into WA. I've never actually been north of like, the Dampier uh, Peninsula, Fender Bay, that sort of area. Uh, I've never been to Derby. I've never been past the Bungle Bungles and the Gibb River Road or anything like that. So we cool to see some of it, even though we will be traveling pretty quickly past it all. Um, it'll be cool to see it 
all the same. We're, we're in talks about when we are, because we're going back to work for a few months, be around family for weddings and babies and stuff. So we're in talks about when that's all finished, coming back up and doing the gig properly for like a, maybe a month or so. Do like a Kimberley trip and then maybe fast track it back over the East Coast and finish what we didn't get to this time round. It's the current plan anyway, but if you followed us at all, you would know that uh, our plans never really work out anyway, so there's no point really planning. <laughs> all right, I'm going to keep cooking for the family. Liam and Clem are looking for that crocodile again. The dogs are outside because it's actually really quite mild out there at the moment. It's like 27 degrees, so we're going to eat dinner outside tonight, enjoy it while we can. And we've just been eyeing off a free camp between Halls Creek and Fitzroy Proxy because we don't really want to stay at either of them. Both of them have some pretty bad reviews. Um, so we're going to scooch straight past them, hopefully. And there's a free camp called Mary Pool or something like that. Um, that looks really good. Lots of shade, lots of grass. It's currently flowing thanks to all the rain that they've had recently, but it's not flowing across the road. So we shouldn't have a problem getting in there. So yeah, that'll be good. Hopefully we can stay there. Um, because it's meant to be like a minimum of 29 on Sunday in that sort of area. So yeah, it'll be hot, but if we've got some shade and you can get some airflow in, it's like 25 kilometer an hour winds. Hopefully if we angle the van right, we should be able to get some of that in the van and have a much more pleasant night's sleep than we did back in Camel Wheel, because that was hot. Alright, I'm gonna cook this and uh, we'll see you happy later. First stop in WA, so there's the big sign up there, and check this out. So I'm guessing this is Kananara Lake, um, but we've just pulled up here to have some lunch, um, and then we'll go check in somewhere. I think we're going to stay at the Discovery Parks because it's a good day parks and they allow dogs. The other one that's the most popular one in town, um, Kimberley Land, I think it was called. It doesn't make sense dogs, but this area is actually dog off lead, which is all great, but our two will end up in that water, and I don't know how safe that is. So. We'll eat lunch first, then we'll get them out for a good play, I think. Can we come in, mate? Alright, these shoes are busted. Papa? 
owned by Double G Prickles. Welcome back to Western Australia. <laughs> Alright, it's going to be a long afternoon because for us it's like 3 o'clock but really it's only 1.30 here and Liam's already woken up from his nap so we've got a lot of time to kill this afternoon. Uh, Clinton jumped on Wikicams and found out that Ivano Crossing, which I've always wanted to do, is actually only what, 14 k's or something? Yeah, not far. Not far at all. Um, and it's open, which I didn't expect it to be um, at this time of year. I had just blown it off as it, uh, next time when we come back up. But we're going to jump in the car and head out there and go have a look. If we can't cross it, then I'll still send the drone up, take some shots. We'll look for some crocs. Apparently there's estuary crocs. Estrine? Is that how you said that? Yes. Saltwater crocs. Saltwater crocs. Everywhere. So uh, we'll see what we can see. Um, and if we cross it, then sweet. Looks like you might be driving. Okay. We'll probably go over it twice anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll see you in the car. <laughs> 